This is part two of my bugs and text video with more super helpful things to know. If you're interested in the faceless Vesperian that I have, watch the end for more information. The first is a mantra modified you, which I think is pretty well known, but I find it so helpful. All you need to do this is one amnesic driftwood and an already modified mantra. In this example, I have illusionary realm and amnesic driftwood, so I'm just going to walk up to the table, put on the realm which already has two log stones and an amnesic driftwood, and just walk away without pressing E. And then it's going to give me the modifiers on the realm while still keeping them, so you can just do that over and over to duplicate your modifiers. Another thing I thought important to address was if anyone had the idea of getting infinite notes by doing this. I've done the math and it's not worth it to try and use this for farming notes. You're better off just farming at Crypt of the Unbroken or something like that. Because the, the only use of this bug is to save time. And I mean, does anyone even enjoy farming for mantra modifiers? I don't think they do. All this bug does is just save time. The next one is a way to have infinite resets which, if used optimally, can genuinely save you hours on every single progression. To do this, you first need to go into unfull screen and find a decently high ledge to jump off. Once you've unfull screened, you're going to left click and hold the close button. Doing this will freeze you in place. If you jump off the cliff and then do that mid-air, for about 10 seconds, I would say, you will then reset. So I'm counting, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then when I let go, I've held it down long enough and I've reset. So I will spawn back wherever my spawn is. And it doesn't put my reset on cooldown. The reason why this can save you so much time is because being able to reset whenever really helps with fast traveling. For example, if you were doing the mantra hand quest at vigils place down a guild base reset to etrus talk to the guy immediately reset back to the guild base and finish the quest or if you're a void walker take a bounty put down a guild base immediately reset and go to the guild base pretty much minimizing the wasted time spent sailing around between islands which for me at least is a decent chunk of my progressions one other thing to note is that this potentially has conflict with the rulebook However, as I'll explain at the end of the video, I don't believe doing this causes any problems. The next is a way to still have double valve masteries between two people. All you need is for both people to have the valve mastery GUI open, and then you click yes at roughly the same time. Here, we waited for this guy to get up and use that to time pressing yes at the same time. This was supposed to have been patched a couple months ago, but doing this method still works. Whether or not this will get patched depends on if the devs deem it important enough to fix for a second time. Next is an easier method to get people out of spawn protection without needing teleportation. You just need to use the final LFT crit on someone and it will still grab them. So be wary of shifty LFT users when trading, especially if they're on the final crit. I'm not sure how useful this one is, but at least it's interesting. You can escape danger as long as you have someone else who isn't in danger open up a twos match in Chime, and then you just stand in it and it will teleport you out. But to be honest, I don't really see this being all that useful in ganks and whatnot. For this one, the double jump, I'd assume that 99% of people watching already know about it, but if you didn't, say you spawn over there in the depths, instead of wasting a whole minute of your life going over to the gate, you can just go on top of one of these rocks next to the wall and get on top of the wall that way. As you can see, I don't have enough agility to make it up normally, but by doing the double jump, I can then get over the wall and save myself a whole, like, 40 seconds of my life. So, you know, if you did this 12 gazillion times, that'd be so much time saved. I was considering not including this in the video, but I thought it's probably at least less well known as head stacking, which everyone probably knows about. If you didn't know how to do it, then all you need to do is run at a wall, jump up, and then the moment you hit the ground again, press space, and it will climb up the wall, and then you have a second climb halfway up. Now I want to really quickly just show how to escape Gravity Bell, because I got depth skanked once by a mage using Gravity Bell, and I guarantee you I would have wiped if I wasn't able to escape it. So, 
all you have to do, go up to the gravity bell and do a running attack and that's it. If you PvP a lot you probably already knew this, but if you don't know how to do this, this bell is so unfair to fight against. I saw this poll by Swag Messiah 67 and I was shocked to see that 60% of people said Charisma was the hardest to train. So I'm going to very quickly demonstrate a Charisma macro that I made which will be linked in the description. And how it basically works is when you type the first three letters of the prompt and then press tab it will automatically complete it. You can change what those three letters are if you want to and this is an auto hotkey script so you'd need that. So now I'm going to go into more detail on that infinite resets bug. Because what it's actually doing is getting you AA gunned instead of resetting which is why it doesn't put the reset on cooldown. Now I've seen the message from Arcmage himself that no matter how many times you get AA gunned you cannot get banned. But that's only right now. So if exploits were to come back that may change. In addition the Deep Woken rulebook says that you can be banned after three strikes for abusing an unpatchable bug like holding X. But a very important distinction to make is that this bug, letting people AA gun themselves, is not an unpatchable bug itself, unlike some of the other stuff you can do with holding X. In addition, the bug itself, being purely a time save and not impacting other players in any way, is not something that should be punishable. Ahem, <coughs> considering practically BMing was approved by the head moderator not that long ago. One final thing I'd like to say is thank you for watching. As some people might have noticed, I haven't posted anything in a whole month somehow, and I don't really have an excuse for that other than I had no motivation. Especially since, even though I know the video is really terrible, seeing 0.2% of people subscribed is a little disheartening, so subscribe maybe? And if you need another incentive, I already have the video on the Faces Vesperia method made, and I'll put that out at 2,222 subscribers. I promise. There were quite a few things that I didn't end up including in this video because they didn't quite fit into being a bug or a tech and stuff like that. If you are interested, let me know, and thanks for watching.